Hey, Maui. Maui, wake up. Lex, Lex, what are you doing? It's the middle of the night. Come on, Maui, wake up. Your mom says I can take you on a zany adventure as long as you get to school tomorrow. What time is it? It's way too early to say it's late, but it's not late enough to say it's early. Well, I'm sleeping. No, sleeping people don't talk about time in the abstract, but in the absolute. You're talking in the abstract. Well, I must be asleep. Go on. No, Lex, let me sleep. You'll have plenty of time to sleep at school. Get up. I am asleep. Look, I put together a show, and we got and we got to make the show happen. This isn't a show. This is my real life. I put together a theme song. It's the most powerful theme song ever. Listen. I don't want to listen to your song. Look, Nolly, I took the forbidden the theme from Forbidden Zone, which is also the theme from Dilbert. Forbidden Zone? What's Dilbert? Dilbert was a stupid old show. And then I mixed in the theme from Rick and Morty, which is actually a limited metric representation of us from across the Panaverse. Already a show somewhere in the Panaverse? Yeah, but we can pick that show. Let's the Panaverse. turn that off and let me and I'm going to sleep. And then I mixed in the theme from this show, which is a weird old show with Jack Black. And What's his name? It's my father. The guy with the long boots and face the best I don't know. Turn it over. Look, we're going on a zany adventure. Let's go. Hey, Lex, wake up. Huh? Oh, oh, hey, Molly. Uh, hey, hey, Lex, I, I was wondering if you wanted to watch some hyperspace cable. Oh, uh, that's as good as dreaming. Sure, here, sit down. Uh, let's watch something. What's this? Uh, this is the Angry Video Game Night episode where he plays Polybius, but now you actually get to see the gameplay. What the hell? It's the craziest game anyone ever made. I don't even understand what I'm seeing. Ooh, see that? Points. That's a really neat show, but, um... What, did, did you want to watch something? Well, rem remember before we went on that wacky adventure, you told me we were a show on Hyperspace Cable? What, you, you want to watch that? Yeah, I, th I think it might be neat. Okay, we'll watch it. It's called Rick and Morty. It's really like being in the Macron crystal and they just escaped. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Jessica. It's Morty from school. Oh, hey, Morty. What's up? Um, I just want to say that you're really great. I know the timing never really worked out with us, but you're really great and I wish I got to know you better. Oh, I mean... Oh, that was just like a, a scene lot. from... Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. I guess I just, soccer. No, I just wish you said it sooner. Holy shit! Holy shit! There's no way this works out for him. <laughs> That worked. Is there a sea monster? Richard, you have desecrated the sacred treaty betwixt land and sea. Are those a bunch of penises behind him? I think that's algae. Okay. Sorry, who is that? Okay. I like the new intro. Morty, are you happy you touched the ocean? <laughs> Let's like tits. Okay, I don't what? Of course you don't, because you guys aren't getting any. <laughs> Actually, your father and I have been very sex positive lately. Ew, Dr. Wong suggested we experiment. We've been watching pornography together. Gross. I might never come back from the ocean. <sighs> You'll have to turn it down, babe. The squares can't handle it. If when you have kids, be careful how you talk to them. 
like you. I'm going to learn this early, Morty. Life is a fight. What's Mr. Nimbus? You making fun of me? Mr. Nimbus is an ice cold dick killer, Morty. Okay, let's go. That's his magic ocean horn. <laughs> And he just has an ocean wave that he rides in the street. He controls police, Jerry. Right. That tracks. In dumb world, police a controls strange the ocean police. Man is on my lawn. Well, yeah, obviously. Well, I don't so if you control the fish, then you control the police too. Yeah, that makes sense. Fight. Fuck. Okay. What do you want? Now return to Nintendo 69. Nintendo. Oh, what are you doing to me? That's an NES and a thong. Hey, thanks, Hoovy. I, I really appreciate that. I, I got a girl over, and I really, really like her. I, I'm, I'm just nervous. Wait, is he gonna go get back? When I first started seeing Doesn't Tom back, move, like, a billion times faster there, as well? So oh, right. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> oh, right. Loves me for that. Thanks. I, I really needed to hear that. Here, take one of these. Oh, you don't have to. No, I, I want to. You have a good day, Hoovy. You have a great time with that lady up there. Just for a life. Will do. Over? <laughs> Why did you leave us, Father? Jacob? When were you born? Psycho. I to mother, if I ever met you, I'd avenge her. It wasn't my fault. Who's that? Who's the boy from the magic door? Okay, Narnia got Shall dark. Terms? Yeah, fine, whatever. Terms. Term number one. I have that same phone. I am king of the ocean. The place I shit? Go ahead. Term number two. Stop shitting in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Another. Oh, uh, well, I, I was thinking of using Lord, this one just for... Just give him a bottle. God damn. Another. So he opens the bottle, just takes a slug, and throws busy. it against the wall. Right now. Again, you go ahead and fire up that movie. That's okay. I'll wait for you. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Is Jessica a reference to that little red-headed girl who Charlie Brown never got with? Oh, wow. Hoovy, right? Never say his name! <laughs> why, why is every old guy super jacked? <laughs> that symbol was referential to the Dark Universe from Star Trek, the Mirror Universe. Papa, why do we guard the gate? Because one day, the dark <laughs> child shall return. So they've been guarding this gate for three generations without him showing up? Yeah. Delicious. Where is your wife? Turning into kind of army of darkness kind of thing. Stop eating beignets like that. You have wasted our lives, our very futures, on a fantasy. A lie. Now it's like turning into Game of Thrones. You saw nothing. In Narnia. With dogs. Dog people. So I need lies. I like I stand on the portal. And what is power but a lie we And there he goes. Oh, Teddy's real! He's real! <laughs> I was wrong! I was so wrong! God is real! <sighs> <sighs> yeah, this army of darkness, Ash, and he's got the, instead of a chainsaw arm, he's got the robotic arm thing. Why doesn't he just take the whole crate? It's heavy. Remember, he needed, that's why the guy got trapped there in the first place, because he needed help getting the whole oh, crate out. Yeah. Is it over? Oh. Thanks for bringing the wine. Morty finally kissed her. Did he need an opener? It only took five seasons. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it. Everything you've asked. Uh, can I just have some time with my girlfriend? Your girlfriend? I mean, she's not... We kissed. <laughs> they kissed? I'm just... Adam, because I am a traveler. Yes. And now it's turning into you Ender's game. Pass through the door. You are not ready. Please. It's also kind of like Do you Doom. Think he will show you mercy, like he did to us again. What the hell? Is that from Twelve Monkeys? Growing as a couple. Ah! Please, and they just don't see that thing in their small kitchen. Such a waste. Is that an Adventure Time reference? I don't know. Sci-fi bullshit. Just Jessica did. Because it's been that like a name, trillion it? years Thank over you, here. Oh, wow. Oh, right. Yeah. So you'll be needing this for the wine. <laughs> oh, shit. We got it. <laughs> Can you believe he bought that fucking tree bullshit? Okay, oh, now it's God. like Tron. Say goodbye to your friends. It's real dope. Soon it wet, buddy. All I do is eat ass and 69 Nintendo. <laughs> if Diane were alive today, what would she think? What the hell? 
Is that his wife? Yeah. His dead wife? I said I was sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I have been asking that for centuries. I was created to study you, Morty. To know you. But the closer I look, the more I do not recognize myself. Uh, yeah, man, I really don't have time for... I have often wondered, who would we be without you, Morty? Are we anything... Yeah, this is really, Morty? really like Tron. And when she came, I thought she... Or something like that. Frozen in time, forever asleep. We could not understand her purpose, so we hit her away. Whoa! Why do we Is she trapped in a Macan crystal? Is that a reference to Phoenix? So is she like Phoenix? I'm not sure what to call it. Are they in the age of apocalypse? No, I think they're all the way in the future. Everyone's robots and everything. Right, right. It's like Tron, but it also reminds me of. Holocaust Slayer in, in the Age of Apocalypse. And that giant dog monster thing looked a lot like Holocaust. And that claw, that's from Howard the Duck. This is all from Marvel. And it's like Apocalypse of Citadel, yeah. Whoa. Rick has a bunch of cybernetic implants that are all torn out of his body now. Okay, we might be a little fucked. <gasps> Whoa. I am Mr. Nimbus. That was very similar to the bit in the Age of Apocalypse where Morph arrives as a whale wow. and takes on a bunch of Fetty. That, that, that was really weird. <laughs> this is really very Marvel expressive. Marvel us. As I watched the life of time in all its so she's trapped inside the Macron crystal. And no, she isn't Phoenix. She's a fucking silver surfer. Mr. Nimbus, probably. Goodbye, Hey, how's it going? Fuck off! I'm a time guy. Fighting. Grandpa, I got the show. Shit. Okay, Nimbus. Oh God. Yeah, that whole thing. That was like a. That, that whole thing was like a Marvel what the. Marvel what the's were comics that they did in the eighties. Uh, they really just like took characters and threw them into crazy situations, in, like one shot bits. And there were also what ifs. There was a what if where uh, Venom battled uh, Wolverine and uh, gave him the uh, punishment of Prometheus and chained him to a mountain and he was just eaten by crows every day and then he'd grow back and get eaten by crows again. Okay. You think Rick will still be in jail next episode? Maybe. Oh, well, they already did him in prison with the Citadel of Rick's thing. Yeah, but Rick busting out of jail would not be hard. Right, I think it starts there and he gets out of jail and then moves on. But it's Mr. Nimbus who controlled the police who put him in jail, so maybe he'll wind up. Mm -hmm. Hooray, we recorded all the audio. Uh, Lex, I'm hungry. Oh, uh, I'll make you something to eat. So Zero Skull says Brian Green is a charlatan. Thank you, Zero Skull. I appreciate that.